Hey, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are having an awesome evening. And this video, Delicious and her husband, Raymond Santana, they talk about how being on VH1's Couples Retreat reality TV show helped their relationship become stronger. So check this out and make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO. Why did you guys do the show? Do you think the show ruined? Do you think the show will ruin the new newlywed spark? No, it brought it back. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I'm I'm from the VH1 family, so I trust VH1 with my story. And um, the pandemic had us all at home doing this. Arr, like, you know, yeah, yeah. just stuck in the house together. Um, we got married. We were engaged all while the pandemic was happening. And we never got a chance to go to therapy. Like, most people go to therapy before they get married. married. <clears throat> and Raymond and I, we didn't do that because of the pandemic. We couldn't meet face-to-face -face with someone. Um, and we didn't do it even virtually. So, Couples Retreat offered therapy. And... It doesn't matter how fresh the relationship, don't mistake length for strength. Mm -hmm. um, I think that therapy is essential, Yeah. especially in a marriage. Especially in a marriage. And, you know, we get a bad rap. Therapy gets a bad rap where if, you, if you're in therapy, they look at you like you're soft or you're not maintaining your household or there's, there's a bunch of problems. And sometimes therapy could just be for some of the smallest issues you have. Um, but sometimes it could just be the vent. And so... You know, we definitely for therapy and mm -hmm. we, we, we tell people your mental health is, is very important, it's very valuable. And if you don't have that correct, then how can you bring that to a relationship if it's not fixed? Yeah. So it's definitely about fixing yourself and, and so we definitely encourage mental uh therapy you know, therapy and, and mental health. And mental health. Yeah. All around all around the board. And if you are married, listen. Yeah. We know that a lot of you guys are gonna tune in. And you just, some of y'all, just like we, uh, we like to watch reality TV so we can get the tea, the scoop. And you know, we have our favorites and we judge the circumstances. Well, with this show, it's going to be hard not to judge the circumstance, That's but, right. but you can actually take away something because yeah. everybody went through a struggle during this pandemic. And some of are still going through struggles, you know, yeah. from COVID, being stuck in the house, digital learning. Yeah, yeah. I applaud the teachers and the students. I'm starting to give the students their kudos too because it was a lot on the kids. But um, on a relationship, doesn't matter how in love you are, you're going to have to work. You're going to go through frustrations. You're going to sleep on the couch. You <laughs> And relationship is not rich people stuff, okay? Somebody just said that. It's rich people shit. No, it's not. No. No, it's not. Therapy is therapy, period. When yeah, it comes to therapy, therapy it's not rich people stuff. At the end of the day, you talking to your best friend or you talking to somebody who can lend an ear and venting. That's part of therapy. Yes. So it's all about communicating and getting out those frustrations and expressing them properly and then finding a good solution. So yes. it's not rich people shit. That's no, people therapy shit. is not rich people <laughs> shit. But we, but we have been conditioned to believe that. So I understand where that came from. Mm -hmm. That, you know, you can see that as oh, only rich people with big problems go to therapy. Well, that's the issue. We've been conditioned to believe that, you know, that's how it is. That if you must have some serious problem if you're going to therapy. Well, you didn't have to have serious problems to go to school or to, to further your education, right. um, or to even take a, a, a technical uh, class or a, a school for um, hair, mm -hmm. nails. I mean, it's just it's just smart to sharpen your tool. And also to put someone who is unbiased in front of you so that they can hear both sides yep. and they can speak freely, openly, and honestly. Mm -hmm. And other than just therapy, watch the show because Michael Blackson, that's all I gotta say. And Ray J. <laughs> Those two are hilarious. Yeah. Like, oh my God. They are so much fun. Um, you got Yandy, Rashida. You guys are gonna be introduced um, to Rada, which is Mike's girl. If you follow him, you already know who she is. Mm -hmm. um, Princess. So, 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 so beautiful. 
Oh, I'm on my The lovely AJ. AJ! Shout out AJ. Yes. girl. <laughs> y'all know her from, um, what's the dance she taught us? Okay. How so far? we did interviews today, y'all, but we ain't, nobody can see. We got our pajamas <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> Well, she do. I'm the boy's fully dressed. I look yeah. good. <laughs> no, he got on joggers. Stop, stop. No, Blow Raymond is telling the story. Ah, ah, ah. Raymond has no, on no. joggers, but I she look told good. Us I ain't getting up. This. Ola, ola, yeah. ola, That's the house party dance. Y'all remember that, right? Rolling, rolling, roll. We can play now. Rolling, rolling, roll. So yes, AJ was fun. So y'all gonna see us dance a little offbeat. Y'all gonna see us. The name of the show is called Couples Retreat. Yeah. It comes on VH1 Monday nights. Eight, Eight o'clock. That's like prime time television, it baby. April nineteenth. Also, <laughs> remember, April nineteenth is also the anniversary of the Exonerated Five on when we first got arrested, which is you know April nineteenth, the night of. And so that's 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 a uh, definitely an emotional day for me. It's a, it's a, so it's it's good to wake up in the morning and think about the Exonerated Five, and then go to sleep at night and think about couples retreat with this lovely woman right here. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I tell y'all. Raymond and I, we funny. <laughs> and the drinks, the drinks, I mean, there's therapy, but y'all know this is reality TV, so it's a lot of fun. In reality TV, you need some drinks. You need some drinks. Need some so drinks. the cameras was rolling and the drinks was rolling, baby. That's it. That's so, it. ooh, we. Mm -hmm. And we hadn't gotten out the house. Yeah. Like when they called or whatever, I'm like, when can we leave? Yeah. yeah. We, we ready. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Freaky Marco. He says, so sorry, Raymond. Oh, Freaky Marco, appreciate you, man. Thank you, man, you know. So where y'all checking in from? Yeah, I know definitely Brazil is definitely on the check-in on my live because Brazil showed me so I much love. I know, look at love. Brazil. Brazil be showing me so much love. I can't wait to come out there and, you know, and, and uh, chop it up with you guys. So hopefully it'll be soon. How do you handle any criticism or outside opinion? Mmm, the block button. That's it. Block and delete. You block, block them, delete. go back and delete the comment. Yep. No, you know what? I think that in my old age, <laughs> I've grown accustomed to damned if you do, damned if you don't. So I just choose to do. That's Shout cool. out to Cleveland, South Carolina, West Detroit, Bloomfield, Detroit Michigan. in the building. What up, Detroit? Detroit. What up, though? Yeah. What up, Stefan? <laughs> Checking in from the basement. <laughs> Ohio in the building. New York City. Nolens. What All up, them, baby. All Sacramento, day. California. We got New Orleans on the check-in. We got the DR checking in. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You said Transylvania? <laughs> Transylvania. B BX in the building. Yonkers, Yo. shout out to Yonkers, you know, DMX. We just lost DMX, so definitely y'all keep peace. them in your prayers. Rest in peace. Support them. Play his music. You know, if you got to purchase albums, show your love for the dog. You know what I'm saying? He's a great dude. Oh, my God. We lost one of the greats. He is one. He is my greatest rapper of all times. Yes. DMX. So, you know, shout out that. You know, shout out the condolences to the family. But X will always be in our prayers. And we will always support you. We will always salute you, brother. Yes. The dog. Definitely. And shout out to our, uh, our cast members, our fellow cast members yep. from Cupboard's Retreat. A lot of fun. Listen, Kirk and Rashida may get a bad rap. But we learned so much from them. We learned so much from them. Mm -hmm. And, and, and y'all got to do me a favor. I tell Raymond all the time, I love my followers. Mm -hmm. Like, we like a family. Even when y'all get on my gut nerves. <laughs> but please do me a favor, y'all. First of all, please tune in this coming Monday, April 19th at 8 o'clock on VH1. But also, go in there with an open mind. And be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of the situations that people tend to judge and, and, and um, just dog out all over social media mm -hmm. are circumstances that you too have been in or you know someone who has been through that. So I just, I want you guys to go in, in it with an open mind. And remember, this all was filmed during the midst of a pandemic. So a lot of us, just like you, we were tired of being in the house. We were frustrated. Um, I We were newlyweds. Mm -hmm. I had just learned that Raymond even... I just found out he snores. Yeah. yeah. Especially when I was a bigger person, you know? Yeah, he was snoring. Yeah, and what I found out? He found out this was a wig. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. found out these weren't mine. I, I didn't like, care about that, though. That's fine. We're going we gonna to yeah. enjoy those. Ones. Like, it's you fine. know, when you first get together... And you get engaged as quick as we did. Mm -hmm. Yo, we was finding out stuff on the cuff. That's you feel it. me? That's it. And then to go and do a show. Mm -hmm. And you're still mm -hmm. learning about each other. <laughs> Shoot. 
We ain't seen the show yet, so we're going to be watching it with y'all. Mm -hmm. So when y'all have that, oh, shit, moment at home, we're going to be in the house like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we will get on live, you know, period. We will get on live maybe after, after every episode, and we will, you know, talk to you guys and bring you in. We will be doing giveaways. Park in Madison will be giving away some clothing during this whole season of, of, of the show airing so yeah so we will be doing giveaways and so we will be interacting with you guys but definitely vh1 monday night april 19th and we want to throw a couples party and we want to uh well we said we we're going to do it for couples and for singles but on next monday we want to throw a live party starting at 7 30 we want to go on live with you guys um put you on the screen with us and we're going to show y'all just how that's going to yep. go yep. it's going to go like this uh oh. Uh oh. Let's pray it ain't nobody pray. And <laughs> <laughs> just pray that it's somebody that got some sense. Uh -huh. Shout out my boy Hattie Racks, BX baby. I see you doing your thing, you killing on the music. All love, kid. All day. Whoever this is on the screen, I do want to apologize, but your screen is a bit dark there, baby. Yeah, and if we can't see you, we're going to clip you. Yeah. Are you there? What are you doing in the dark? Or or should I not ask? Yeah, don't get it twisted. Yeah, it, it, ain't, it, ain't just, it ain't just delicious by itself. It's me. I'm here too, brother. Turn so, on the light! Whatever it is, we don't want to see nothing crazy. Come on, turn on the light, baby. Turn on the light. <laughs> All right, no All lights. Right, no light. Good night, Irene. See you. <laughs> okay. All right, but basically, that's how it's going to go, okay? That's how it's going to go. <laughs> yes. So we're going to go live with y'all. We're going to start... They said, can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Can you guys hear me? T, can you hear us? Shout out Brazil. Love you guys. I see you on the check-in. And Puerto heavy. Rico. Brazil's on the check-in heavy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to try it again, but not with this person. <laughs> okay, who wants to go live with us? Bring it up. But if your page looks like it's a, a weird name, mm -hmm. we ain't doing that. Oh, that's how you can do that? Yeah, oh, yours look cute. Go Christina if you want. Let's see, invite. Oh, you can do your boss. All right, we got one in. Check. Hi. Got one in. Hey, Hi, how you doing? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Sorry, we've been on a tour all morning. Yeah. It's okay, I can't wait. You can't wait? You're going to tune in? Mm-hmm. Are you in a relationship? Yep, marriage. You're uh, married. Yeah. How long have you been married? married? It'll be five years. Um, come October. Five Congratulations. Years. Congratulations. For everybody that's on my live, there's a young lady that is on Raymond's live, so we're talking to her. Um, and so what are some of the problems or some of the things that you ran into very hard during the pandemic in your relationship? Just about everything, to be honest. You done got on your nerve, huh? Well, you mm -hmm. ain't in jail, so you all right. You exactly. <laughs> in jail or hell and y'all still married right. you can get through it right have you guys on the couch no well yeah i mean no oh wait well, you, you got on the couch, couch. oh, oh man. Man. <laughs> wait let me talk to him where he at <laughs> is he at home <laughs> can oh. we talk to him we want to find out how do the wives how do you get end on, the up on the couch and this is a piece of advice for everybody too what is the golden rule in a relationship? The wife is always right. Yeah, the wife is. Or a woman cave. The wife, the, the, the wife. I like that. The, the wife, wife is always right. Definitely. <laughs> you gotta give me some hot water. The brother's on the live now. That's all we have to come and tell us how did you wind up on the cap? Or oh, maybe you want to. I was pregnant, so. You was oh, lost. you were pregnant. I was pregnant. You don't come up, no? Yeah, I was uncomfortable. Okay, oh, I get right. that. Oh, you got a reason to be acting yeah. out. Super responsibility. Mm -hmm. Well, we yeah. thank you so much for checking in with us. We want you to be tuned in this coming Monday, April 19th at 8 p.m. on VH1. Matter of fact, check street. in with us at 7.30. We're going to do the same situation, all right? Okay. Yeah. All right, love you. Thank you. Ooh. I think. Okay, so. Hey, how you doing? Deep put. You said, no, nah, I'm going to the couch. 
Oh, you gonna be the one to go to the college. Some of y'all like taking taking the actual college. Yeah, some of y'all. Let's see who we got on. They there. said, dang delicious. Does he have a brother? He said the wife is always right. <laughs> yes, but his brother is young. Yeah, he's too young. <laughs> <laughs> but he grown now. Well, he might have. I mean, he is. He is. You need some advice? Okay, cool. Let's check in with you. Look at Lexi. Lexi, you want to get on our live for a second? <laughs> come around the back, boo, so they can yeah, see. Yeah, right in the middle. Come, come right in the middle. Back. There you go. Say good morning, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? How are you guys? We're pretty good, thank you. We're on our live. We're speaking with our fellas. Hello, fellas. We're talking about the show. So, you know, your mom and pop are going to be on Couples Retreat come this Monday. Yeah, shout out to Brazil. To Brazil so shout out to Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. Yes. Yeah. Do you know that we're going to be on television? Mm-hmm. You do. How do you feel about it? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. That's a good, honest <laughs> answer. So, are you nervous that we're going to embarrass you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, get ready, buddy. We're not going to embarrass you too bad, okay? No, not too bad. Not too bad. Just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everybody said happy birthday, Lexi. Yes, my baby is a big girl. Can y'all believe it? She's yep. 11, 11 years old. And we're fortunate because all three of our girls have a birthdays in April. Yes. So it works out well for he us. He says fortunate. I say busy. I'm fortunate. Because he just sits back and says, just send me the bill. That's it. That's a, that's a good thing. Easy gift. I like that my husband is well. We well, just for the record, we share in the bills, and that's mind your business, mind your business. You do what's good for your home, we gonna do and we gonna do what's good for our home. That's right. So yes, we do share <laughs> in the the finances and and taking care of the business. But my husband, for the most part, is the one who will say, "Send me the bill." But in turn, that means that I don't want to have to do anything. So just send me. Somebody said he just gives money. Yeah. Yes. Yes. He's like, there you go. I said, babe, we got a plan of such and such. Yeah. <laughs> or if the kids got something specific they want, like a laptop or a new phone, then yeah, that's me. I'll get that. Yeah. This is the party planner right here. So when you see those big celebrations we have and they look extravagant, it all comes from this beautiful mind right here. I Not from me. You. I just be like, mm, I'm simple. I'll throw a party in the cardboard box if you let. Me. So. <laughs> but, but, the planning all comes from, from this one right here, so. Yes. But he's hopeful. He's I learning. Yeah, he's learning. Yeah, he's process. learning that that's a part of romance, passion, and foreplay. Yeah. Like, for us, romance is, honey, I wash the dishes. I'll be like, ooh! Foreplay is, honey, I picked up the laundry. Oh, my God, that felt good. And the most sexiest thing he can ever say to me Honey, I'm cooking dinner. That's okay. It's close to the same. Well, honey, I got dinner. How about that? Is that cool? No. Honey, I, honey, I got dinner. I just ordered it. It just came in. Okay, so okay. Your hot. Okay, so then we need y'all input. Raymond Pizza thinks. Hut is ready. <laughs> Raymond thinks as long as dinner is provided by delivery or pickup, that there should be no complaints about the lack of romance when I ask him to cook with me. Okay, ladies and fellas. Isn't it a sexy, romantic thing to sometimes say, baby, I know you've been asking me for the longest, not to cook, just to help me cook, So uh, to help you cook, so I'm going to do that. I- I'm waiting to see what they say. Because Raymond thinks that it's pushy if I say, baby, I think it's sexy. You get a couple of I agrees in there. Look, I agree. See, I they agree. agree. Yes. I agree. My husband used to cook and clean. Who sent out with him on that? Not My since, husband does the cooking. He said, they was cooking and cleaning in the beginning. Then once they got married, he said that was it for him. Oh, see? He's talking about hell no. <laughs> no, listen. Late, so, fella, there are some things that Somebody my husband... I'm cool with, honey. I'm cool with, I'm cool with the dinner. I got it, honey. Somebody no, said, she said no if he doesn't want to. Well, guess what? I don't get to say what I don't want to do. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? God damn it, baby. Yep, that's it. You don't got to listen to the What the... Yeah. yeah. I don't get to have a say so in hand. that, okay? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so if I can if I can go through that, he can go and and you know turn over some eggs or some some bacon every now and then. Don't you agree? No, definitely, hundred percent. Or I can call it in. <laughs> I got a great chef on deck that does. I love meals. a man who cooks. Herbs. 
<laughs> she said, no, get out of my kitchen. Yes, he can cut up veggies or something. Yes! No, not Raymond, not my husband. He, no, he feels like that's peer pressure. All right, you know what? Enough of this, because I see a lot of comments say, I love when the man's in the kitchen. Yes! You know what? <laughs> fellas, I don't got no fellas on here. Fellas, where you at? You know what? This is yes! All right, VH1, Monday night, <laughs> April 19th. 8 o'clock. Make sure you tune in because we're going to go live around 7.30-ish because we're going to yeah. have our own little party at the house and we're going to probably have some special guests here so you never know who's going to be on the yeah. show and on the live. And we want to have some fun with you guys, okay? Yeah. We want to have some fun. We DoorDash, want... Uber Eats. Yes! Oh DoorDash, <laughs> Uber Eats. Matter, matter of fact, we should give away, if you're in the Georgia area, if you check in at 7.30, we may actually give away a DoorDash and, yeah. a, and an Uber Eats. So might, we'll yep. send you some dinner. How about that? We might do that. On the Santana. might do that. But yeah, until then, you guys, be safe and be good to one another. We love you. Oh, don't forget to go see our other cast members, too. And be nice when you go to Kirk's page. Y'all be really hitting up our homie. That's right. No, be nice. Exactly. Marriage is hard. And he's definitely a good dude, so... Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. And he has a beautiful wife. And y'all love him. That's why they are number one. That's you right. feel me? Love you if I'm still they won. That's right. Yep. That's right. Okay, but so we're saying goodbye. Get ready to Peace. Peace, y'all. <laughs> I just love to see Delicious happy. Delicious, girl, you go, girl. I want to know what do you guys think about this. I think that Raymond and Delicious make an awesome couple, and I wish them nothing but the best. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Gossip Girl, XOXO, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.